We at GraphQL love GraphQL, and we think everybody should be able to use it. That is why we built GraphQL App, a tool that lets you get started quickly with your own GraphQL API without having to do any server-side work. You don't have to create an account, you don't even have to leave your email address, just provide your GraphQL schema and you're good to go. The backbone of every API is the data model. And in GraphQL, you express your data model by means of a GraphQL schema. And that schema is written using the GraphQL interface definition language. And you can read more about this in the link that I post in the video notes. In short, we specify the types that we have in our model and a number of properties. We first have a name for a property and then the GraphQL type. We can also create relations between different types. Let me now show you an example where we are going to write a simple schema for an Instagram application. Let's now go ahead and create the schema file that we need to spin up our own GraphQL API. So here I've prepared an empty schema file for an Instagram application that is going to have two types, a user and a post. Let's first go ahead and create the user type. The user has an ID property and a name that is of type string. Then we also have the post type and the post also has an ID property and a title property that is of type string. Now we also want to create a relation between the user and the post. That is, we want to express that a user can be associated with multiple posts. So we want to create a one-to-many relationship between the user and the post type. Therefore, we are going to have to add another field to the user, to the user type. We're going to call it posts. And it's of type post. And then we also have to use the relation directive and provide a name for this relation that is going to be called posts. And then we have to do the same on the post type. We add a new field called author, and that is the user. And again, we have to add the relation directive. And now we have our schema file that represents the data model for our GraphQL API. Now that we have our schema file, let's go ahead and use it to create our own GraphQL backend for this schema. I'm switching over to a terminal where I'm in the same directory as the schema file that I just created. Let's also convince ourselves that the file still has the same contents as I just typed. So we see that there is the user type as well as the post type. All I have to do now in order to get my own GraphQL backend is type the GraphQL up command and provide that file as an input argument. I hit enter and then the GraphQL API is being created for us. We don't have to write even one line of server code. Instead, we only define the data model. We express it using the GraphQL interf interface definition language. And here we are getting two GraphQL API endpoints out of the box. The first one is the endpoint for the simple API that is optimized for usage with the Apollo client, uh, but can also be used with other clients like Locker. And then we also get an endpoint for usage with Relay. Let's now test our GraphQL API. I'm copying the endpoint for the simple API and pasting it in the address bar of my browser. And that is going to open a GraphQL playground where I can now uh, query uh, the API and send mutations. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to check whether we have any users. And of course we don't. So we get back an empty array for that query. So let's change that and actually add some users to our backend. We therefore have to write a mutation and we can use the create user mutation. And then all we have to do is provide a name for that user. I'm gonna call him Johnny. And I wanna have the ID and the name of that user returned. All right, we created our first user. Let's also create a second user called Sarah. Let's send that mutation. All right, so we now created two users. Heading back to the all users query, we can now send it again 
And we see that we now have two users in our database. One is called Johnny and one is called Sarah, exactly as expected. So this is what you can do with GraphQL app. You just provide your schema, you use the GraphQL app command line tool, and you're good to go. By the way, you can install using GraphQL app using npm. Just type in your terminal, npm install, minus g, GraphQL app, and you're ready to use the tool and generate your own GraphQL APIs.